Hello and welcome to another combination lock video. This safe combination padlock I bought from eBay for a ridiculous amount of uh, 3 euros. Uh, I think it was even less than 3 euros. And I bought it to to play with it and to yeah, to to try if I could if I could open it without knowing the combination. I can feel a little difference when I turn it left or right and if I turn it uh, one round or just a, a little bit but it doesn't give me enough uh, feedback in order to, to open it by uh, yeah, dialing the right combination. By the way the combination is uh, printed on the back and um, yeah that's it I mean um, I don't feel anything and the, the lock is so um, so crappy um, that I don't want to keep it. So I, sh I show you what, what I mean. Um, I dial the right combination, 22, uh, 39, and turning the wheel actually is not really, really nice. It's, it's uh, I don't know how to say, but I don't like it. And opening is, you have to pull, and then, when you we have to pull really, really strong on the jackal and when you when you hold the lock you you accidentally uh, turn the wheel and then it's uh, we have to start over the game that's what i did here 22 39 18 so i try to now it's open you've seen how rough it is and as i said I can't feel anything on the on the wheel when I turn it, and I don't want to keep it as it doesn't feel uh, nice uh, to operate. And every time something like this happens, I open it up and look inside. And that's what I do now. I will go downstairs, make a cut here, open it up all the way down or all the way around, and then I'll come back uh, and we will have a look inside. Hold on. So, I'm done with uh, opening the lock, and it wasn't too difficult at all. I just took my punch and hammered some holes here at the side, and then I could pull out the first plate. And the second one was held in place by a rivet here in the center, which I could file away. And here we are, we can have a look inside. The whole mechanism is based on three discs here uh, in a stack um, held in place um, by a bolt and I will remove two of those discs now to show you more of the inside of the lock now the lock has only one disc which is directly aligned to the outside dial and if it's uh, if the the groove here, the uh, gate in this disc is not uh, aligned um, to the to the nose here. The shackle won't won't uh, come out, because if you if you pull on the shackle, this uh, element here in at the top turns, and here is not enough uh, space uh, for this nose to go down. So the shackle is. Uh, is not loose so it cannot be pulled out but if you if you turn the dial and align the gate here to that position there is enough space for the nose and you can pull out the shackle so now the lock has not only one disc this is just the, the lowest disc it has three of them and I show you the other two and the whole mechanism is uh, based on the fact that all the discs um, can turn independently so that's what these uh, these washers are, are used for they prevent uh, one disc from turning when when you turn another disc so they are fixed to the to the rut because they have um, little 
little noses that go in the groove so they do not turn when you turn the the disc and the discs can turn independently but if um, the pins which are on the on the surface of the of the disc meet the other pin then it takes along the other wheel so they can turn independently as you can see but if they if the pins meet they can take along the other wheel and that's the that's the whole story you you turn the the outside dial which turns the the lowest wheel which has a pin and at some point uh, of the rotation it takes along the the middle um, disc and then you turn the other way around and so on and so forth until all the grooves um, all the gates are aligned at that position and then the lock opens let me change my uh, configuration and I will demonstrate it to you so that's my setup I'm pushing down the bolt manually. All three discs are in the stack. And please remember the discs can turn independently as long as the pins do not meet. And all the, uh, the grooves, all the gates must be aligned here at that position so that this element can go down so that the shackle uh, can be pulled out. Alright, I'm starting to uh, turn the outer wheel um, from the lock. That means the lowest disc will turn and I'm turning uh, clockwise from the direction uh, from the outside direction, so that means anti-clockwise from your point of view and that means the the lowest disc turns and it turns just alone until it meets the pin of the um, middle disc which is the case now. Now the middle disc turns as well and now the middle disc also causes the first disc to turn and we turn it until this position so now we have caused the um, the most upper disc to be aligned at the right place and now I turn to the opposite direction which means that the pin of the lowest disc now um, is alone until it reaches the pin of the middle disc from the other side. Now it takes along the middle disc and I turn it until the middle disc's gate is also aligned and now I turn back again the lowest disc and it's free again because it turns into the opposite direction and now all three uh, grooves, all three gates are aligned at the correct uh, position and now I could um, pull out the shaker let me see if I can do that. And the shackle is free because all gates are perfectly aligned. So that was the uh, <laughs> opening of the safe padlock. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, demonstration. I will put some nice pictures at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Happy turning and picking. Bye bye. So as I now know about the internal mechanism, I was thinking about a way to open it without knowing the combination. And this might be possible if some requirements are fulfilled. Um, I've pulled the shackle a little bit so that this element uh, comes very close to the discs and if I now turn if I now turn the discs and I have some kind of simulated the situation now and the first the most upper disc binds first you could probably feel a difference here if it 
if it goes in the in the groove here in the in the gap and then if the second or the middle disc binds as next you could also probably feel this if this um, if this gate reaches the right uh, place like that and so on and so forth so theoretically this is this is possible but it requires um, moderate um, tension moderate uh, pulling force uh, on the shackle and it requires um, a specific binding order so in the in the order of the uh, discs that are, are aligned by, by your turning action. So I'm not uh, really sure if this is um, the way to go to um, open this lock without knowing the combination. If you know more about how to open a safe combination locks like this, please let me know in the comments. Thank you, bye bye.